all you card collectors out there, we are back with 2021 Tops Series 1 Hobby Box. Not a jumbo box. This is rare for this channel, but uh, my LCS is the absolute best. Um, I got the jumbo box in the last video for $1.99, which is so much cheaper than uh, everything else online. And then I got this, uh, which really actually when you, it's still a great deal, but uh, I went there looking for a, another jumbo box, hopefully getting one of those. Um, so really when you actually look at it, it's a terrible deal for 110 for this. So that's what I paid for this one. Um, because the 199 you get the jumbo box, but, uh, but still, this is like, these prices are unheard of. So I love, 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 Ooh, there we go. A little sneak preview, I'm gonna at least get one silver pack. Uh, I'm a big fan of the silver pack, I love them. So, um, and uh, yeah, there we go, no box topper, that's right, that's this jumbo box. Um, so we'll get these all on screen so you can see them. Um, I actually, I heard somewhere that there is a certain order to these of where the, the hit is. So, uh, you know what? I'll keep them like that and, and we can keep track together. All right. Actually, that's not true because the, all these are going off screen. What am I talking about? We need the space here, but we do have the background set up. And uh, so I'll keep these off screen and that's how we'll do it. So without further ado, let's get Rippin, how are you? Look at that, it's just so beautiful. I'm still not over it. I think it's a great, great product. I have so much of it still coming that I uh, pre-ordered, but it's just nowhere in sight. Um, Steel City Collectibles is where I got it from, and uh, it's just uh, nowhere in sight. Uh, they said March, so I was like, you know what? We're gonna have to, uh, oh, wow, okay, all right. I think we're doing okay. Oh my goodness. First pack, first pack on top. Apparently that's where the auto is and it's an on card Joey Bart rookie card. Let's go, baby. Holy moly, I was not expecting that. I have zero idea what I was even talking about. So farewell, rest in peace to anything that I was just talking about because that's gone out of my mind. Ooh, we're gonna be very careful with this. It's the black. I mean, it's already, I can see it's not a, a PSA 10 by any means. You know, look at all that chipping up there. Uh, corner dinged up, that was not me. Uh, you know, so it's classic 1986 black border. But that is excellent. And you know what? As far as new autographs with uh, just initials going, at least this has a little bit of a design to it. I appreciate it. It's more in the age of uh, of initial autographs. It's more Bryce Harper than it is Mike Trout, I guess. Even though Mike Trout's worth a lot of money. So we're going to just keep that right there. You know, and actually I do remember what I was talking about. Steel City Collectibles. Nowhere in sight. Um getting them to me I, I emailed them and said hey you know like when can i expect this they're like yeah tops hasn't gotten us any retail so it's looking like march that we're gonna get it to you and i was like okay so we got something here that might be that's the 86 86 card Whoop, bumped the camera sorry about that scoot you right there um which is funny because you know here here i am getting these cards from my LCS, so their distribution didn't have an issue. Spencer Howard, got a short print of him from the Jumbo Box. Uh, not too shabby, Chris Paddock. Garrett Cole is the 86. I will say I do miss, uh, although these are, these are fun, I do miss the whole Jumbo Box, you know, per pack you open up and uh, you get all the, the inserts all at the end. You know, I do kind of like that. Um, but this one, it ends up being a little bit more, um, you know, unplanned and spontaneous. So I like that. Um, definitely going to go Tarek Scooble. There we go. So we might, and you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna sleep these up. So bear, bear with me. If we're going to put stuff up on the stands, uh, these big time rookies, we're going to sleeve them at least. 
Um, so, man, I am flying high. Look at that, Joey Bart. Ooh, Zoe Bart, I almost called him. That is excellent. Um, so, yeah, I am hoping to at least see um, some good foils out of here. I'd love a gold foil or a rainbow foil of Bobby Dahlbeck just for my PC so I don't have to buy it. That would be great. Um, and I'm certainly not going to buy anything of his right now because his prices are through the roof, which is crazy for uh, a Red Sox rookie to be that in demand. But um, yeah, nonetheless, this is the world we live in. Oh, look at that. What a beautiful, imagine if that was the real card. That is a beautiful, beautiful card. Um, so yeah, definitely looking for some, uh, even though these are the, uh, you know, the, the hobby, not the jumbo, going to be looking for some good, uh, hopefully a short print would be nice if, to get a rookie short print. Would love a Bo Bobby Dahlbeck sh short print would love, uh, the gold foil, all those cards. I mean, everyone kind of guns for the gold. Um, but I mean, the gold foils have to be, oh, here we go. Speaking of gold. Looks like we are going to get a Willie Adonis gold. Very nice. Numbered out of 2021. 1,072. Um, so not bad, but def again, would, would have preferred a, a rookie for the gold. But yeah, everyone goes nuts for the gold. Uh, when in reality, the gold foil is a hobby exclusive. Uh, you could pull the gold out of hobby and um, retail so it's quite interesting they don't release the uh, they don't release the numbers on those there's the Dalton Var show very nice I'll put that up on a stand for now um, striker breaks does an absolutely excellent job of uh, breaking down the retail um, or the print runs of these cards uh, so I highly recommend checking that out if uh, he hasn't completed it yet because of all the delays for retail um, but he basically uses the uh, you know the numbers that are uh, at his disposal uh, based on um, Mookie Betts gets to, gets put into the great pile because I love him um, and so does you know, everyone who likes the second best player in Major League Baseball uh, Striker Breaks does a great job breaking it all down. He uses, like, uh, let's say, Christian Pache. Very nice. Let's say that, um, you know, the, the gold foils are, you know, 1 in 30 boxes or whatever it is, um, which is <laughs> definitely not the case in this product. Um, he then uses that to break down, okay, well, how many gold card possibilities are there, crunches all the numbers, does all that, and then that's how he gets an estimate of the print run. Um, so, highly recommend that if um, if you want to check that out. I'll link it in the uh, description if it is out by the time that I release this. But like I said, he's also having delays and uh, hasn't been able to find everything. So, yeah, I mean, a little bit of a... <laughs> What an anticlimactic. I'm very interested to see the watch rate of uh, of this video um, based on the first uh, pack <laughs> getting an autograph in a uh, in a hobby box. So, I mean, obviously, if you're if you're new to the hobby, the, the hobby box does not uh, stars in service. That's actually kind of a tough insert to pull. I only got one out of the entire jumbo box. Uh, if you are new to the hobby, um, when you buy a hobby box, which is what I got here, a jumbo box, if you can see it in the corner over here, is that the square one, uh, whereas the hobby box is just the, um, the rectangle one. Um, you are not guaranteed an autograph, and most of the time you do not get an autograph. You usually get uh, a relic, and you're lucky if you get a actual relic as opposed to a, a manufactured relic although you know what i'm going to take that back i think that usually um you get a a relic no matter what and sometimes you'll get a bonus relic so we do have a, a rainbow foil uh, let me know in the comments below if i'm completely off base with that tony gonsolin rainbow cup not bad good up and coming player 
Uh, had a crazy mustache in his rookie card, so that's what he's going to be known for, at least in my eyes, until he becomes the greatest reliever of all time. When he does that, then I'll forget about his uh, mustache that he has in, uh, in his rookie card. I'll, I'll give him a pass then. Here we go. Madrigal, rookie, not bad, not bad at all. So we're going to put you here. We're just going to put you on the ground. That's where you're going. There we go, Alec Baum. This is my third Alec Baum rookie, Gold Cup rookie. Great, great card. You're going to take center stage. Sorry, Mr. I got traded for Francisco Lindor. Um, but we are we're upgrading on that one. Ken Griffey, look at that. That's beautiful. Look at the smile. Look at that guy. Great, great card. Da, 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 da. Clayton Kershaw. Oh, it's just fun. It's so, it's so just relaxing and exciting all at the same time. Opening some packs. It's my favorite. It's my absolute favorite thing. Johnny Lester. I was hoping he would come back to the Red Sox, but that uh, that ship has certainly sailed. Luis Robert, not giving up on you. That's a bad corner on this card. Seems like it's always the case. The cards that I like are the ones that are beat up. Francisco Lindor, Albert Pujols. It's going to be interesting to see what Pujols does with possibly his last year. Um, he dipped below a career 300 hitter last year. Maybe not the first time in his career, but as his career number and dipped. And that's sad to see because, you know, he is such a... Um, an absolute first ballot Hall of Famer, obviously. Uh, Joe Adele, there we go. So that uh, that pairing is still alive. The Alec Baum one, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, was a little bit thrown off. Uh, some people will absolutely yell at me in the comments and feel free. Ooh, look at this one. This is a beautiful card. Look at that. So that's the only thing I don't technically like about I get it why the... It's the 70th year, so that's why they're doing it. But I really, I look forward to the, the throwback cards. And so it's kind of weird to let, then get, like, all of these cards. Like, um, you know, you get the, the throwback cards outside of the 35th anniversary year. So I think that's just, it's a little strange. I think they, I think they would have been better just to put, um, you know, like they did with the Hank Aaron, just have the reprints in there, um, which some people don't like those. So I guess you just really can't win. You can't win with anything. Bo Bichette, Future Star. Love that. You know what? Future Star Bo Bichette. You're getting up here. If we put the Luis Robert Cup up there, we get with Bo Bichette. So I am hoping to get, uh, believe it or not, Kirby Puckett turned around. If this wasn't, if I didn't already have the autograph, I would have been freaking out right now, thinking I got a Kirby Puckett sticker autograph. That's kind of cool. It's got the blue uh, base on it. It's not numbered or anything. So, the, I mean, the blues usually aren't numbered, but that's interesting. Uh, it's also interesting that it's like half blue, half black, if you can see that. It's a strange, stra <laughs> strange parallel, but uh, not bad. Good old Kirby, Mr. Puckett, a oh, Mr. Puckett. Let me know in the comments below if you know what that song is from. That'll date you right there. All right, what was I saying before we had Kirby Puckett? Who knows? Who cares? Who cares? Who cares, G-dubs? Who cares? Anyway. Um... Colin Moran, Kenta Maeda, and nice. That is a great one. Look at that. Fernando Tatis Jr. home run challenge. Love it. You know what? I'm going to dare I put that in front of uh, the Gonsolin rainbow foil. Uh, oh, I am looking forward to getting, hopefully, um, one of those spring training relic, manufactured relic cards. Because even though it is manufactured, I think it's... Uh, a really cool card, especially if it's one of the rookies. Uh, I got the Bobby Dahlbeck and, uh, in the last one. 
Evan White. I'm not sleeving you guys up right away, but I will sleeve you up, I promise. So again, some people are going to kill me for that. Um, I think I was about to say some people will kill me for putting um, Cattell Marte in front of... Uh, Cattell Marte. Uh, putting Joe Adele in front of Tarek Skubal, but... Um, I don't know. I, I'm not... Again, maybe I'm just... Uh, I like being the guy who goes against the norm. Goes against the grain a little bit. But um, I'm not ready to give up on Joe Adele. I'm not ready to give up on Aristides Aquino. Woo! Little guy. Uh, Shohei. Howie Kendrick. Ooh, we've got... Uh, no, this is that, that terrible, terrible... Look at that. Can you imagine getting that in this box? See, Tops, do that instead. Instead of giving me a, an insert of a card of a card, give out that card. You know, I know that they have actually some of the buybacks, but, um, you know, come on. Don't just put a picture of a card of a card like, hey, look, this is what you could have had if you bought something else. <laughs> it's, a little, it's a weird marketing, uh, it's a weird marketing tactic. Anyway, yeah, I'm not ready to give up on some people as quickly as as uh, everyone else is. But I'll tell you what right now. I can't wait for Wander Franco to get called up. He's probably going to be in um, Update, which is going to be great because, um, A, I just, I didn't like how, I mean, I, I get it. We all get why Update was what it was in 2020. We understand it. We know the year it was. We know all that stuff. But I still think Alec Baum, Bobby Dahlbeck, Nate Pearson, some of these guys could have been used in Update. And then that would have made Update a little bit special. And so I really don't like it when Update is just kind of a recap. And to not even put the the Luis Robert rookie debut, that was that I still don't understand that. Because you were able to put it into Chrome. So, and you, I mean, it's in there. It's just a short print. It's just, it's very strange. Um, it's really weird. So, um, anyway, so there's Jordan. There's a Nico Horner, Future Stars. Peterson, Tejada. Boy, this series is just absolutely loaded. Um, so, yeah. So, I think you could have had some people in there for, for update from this, from this class. Uh, but I can't wait for Franco to come out because he's probably going to be an update because most likely the Rays are going to hold him for his contract. And it looks like we've got possibly... No, that's not a... I thought it was a, a gold foil. Um, oh, that's right. The gold foils, actually. I think I'm completely... Um, there we go. There's a Joey Bart. I think I'm completely wrong with uh, the gold foils. I don't believe they're in... Hobby, I believe they're just in the Jumbo, which makes the Jumbo even better. Um, so that's my mistake. Um, but yeah, I can't wait for Wander Franco to come out. Um, also, haven't seen a lot of people uh, make fun of D. Gordon, D. Strange Gordon. Uh, he did that for his mom. So uh, his mom passed away. And so maybe everyone just uh, cool out a little bit. Don't make fun of D. Strange Gordon. Uh, he did not hyphen his last name for his wife. And even if he did, let's just not make fun of him for that either. Let's just not make fun of people. How about that, people? Come on. Let's, I'll make fun of you for making fun of people. No, I'm kidding. That would be worse. Um, yeah, let's just let's get a little positivity here. Um, anyway, if I can get a point out, keep my mind on track here. I can't wait for Wander Franco to be an update uh, because then everyone's going to freak out. Everyone's going to turn to Wander Franco. They're going to be like, oh, all the money's got to go here. Blah, blah, blah. And people, the Bo Bichettes, the Luis Roberts, the Jordans, the people who are, uh, you know, hot right now, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll not dry up at all, but the market will go down a little bit and then you can kind of scoop in there. While everyone's looking at Wander, everyone's going crazy for him as the Mount Castle rookie. Um, we can uh, we can just scoop right in there and get the guys that we like and, and want to collect as a as a PC. All right, so here we go. We got a rainbow foil. 
Let's go. Let's get a nice rookie here. Nice rookie. I don't think it's a rookie. It's a cheater. It's an absolute cheater. And it has a horrific, horrific little line there. Look at that. It's not a scratch. That is a, uh, it's just like a, a line where the foil didn't go. Look at that. That's weird. That's not even going to make, that's just going to, that's just going to sit over here. I'm not even going to put it on Kirby Puckett because Kirby Puckett is better than him. Um, there's a Trent Grisham Future Stars card. Really like that card. Good use of the landscape card. You know, if you're going to landscape it, ooh, this one's a little mang mangled. So I don't know. I don't think we're going to get, maybe if we get a, an autograph, we don't get the, uh, the relic, the manufactured relic. And then if you do get, uh, if you don't get the autograph, maybe you get the uh, relic plus the manufactured relic. That makes sense. That, that would make sense. But hey, it would be great if I got a manufactured relic too. That would be awesome. That would be wonderful. All right, last pack here, people. Coming in a little bit shorter than <laughs> the jumbo box when I was super excited and dissecting every single card. I appreciate anyone who even made it through half of that video. I appreciate you guys. Um, there we go. I love that card, the Do It For The Fans card. I'm keeping that, keeping it off to the side. I think it's a cool card. Mike Yastrzemski, I had no idea about this. 1990. That's an old rookie. That is an old, I mean, he's not a rookie this year, but there we go. That's a nice die cut. Piazza. Very nice. Kevin Biggio, the Orioles. And that's it. And that's where we round it out. So not too shabby. Great break. Love the Joey Bart. Got another Alex ba Alec Baum. I think we got all of the rookies. We got at least the major ones. Uh, in my book, I'll put Dahlbuck up there, but I know everyone won't put him in there. We got the Mount Castle. We got the Dylan Carlson. We got the Joey Bart. So uh, we got the Scooble. We did not get Casey Mize unless I missed him. Unless I missed him, we did not get a Casey Mize. So, but you know what? There are a lot of cards here. Uh, a lot of rookies in this class. We got the Future Stars, Bo Bichette. We got the Gold Cup, uh, Luis Robert. So very, very happy with this. And how do you complain when you get uh, a rookie autograph, on-card autograph, Joey Bart? Very nice. Very nice. And it is numbered, 199 So that's beautiful. So I'll take that over uh, Monte Harrison, even though uh, some people do like Monte Harrison. I uh, We'll see. We'll see about it. So anyway, oh, what am I doing? Look, I totally forgot. We got a silver pack. Let's get the silver pack going. Make sure you like the video. Comment down below. Let me know what your favorite card was. Oh boy, we don't have a backwards card. We do not have a backwards card, which means we don't have any thickies. We don't have any color. We're just going straight normal here, and that's okay. That's all right. Let's get Jackie Robinson. Very nice. I think with Jackie Robinson comes a good Alec Bomb. Yes, baby. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. And a Mike Trout. That is a wonderful pack. That's a wonderful pack. Look at that. You get Jackie Robinson, Alec Baum, and Trout together. I saw another one break where I don't believe it was Randy Johnson. I think it was someone else. Uh, it was the person after Trout. But um, we'll take that. That's a big win right there. Love it. So uh, there we go. Alec Baum. He will take over for Joe Adele right up there. And that's it. These are just beautiful cards. Love them. Thank you guys so much. Uh, make sure you follow me on Instagram and uh, Twitter at GW's Collects. Uh, make sure you let me know which card was your favorite. Comment down below and uh, share the video with anyone. If you, uh, if, you, if you enjoy this and you think someone else might enjoy it, please feel free to share it because obviously we are uh, trying to grow this channel as much as possible. And uh, as much as I love just ripping these cards, there is a reason for uh, starting a channel and sharing it with you all. So... Uh, I appreciate you guys for uh, for tuning in and all the comments and, uh, and 
and um, I just appreciate you on a personal level. Love to talk to you. So feel free to leave a comment. Feel free to slide into my DMs on uh, Instagram or Twitter. Um, always happy to check to chat with you guys. So take care. Have fun. Stay safe. Keep the hobby alive. Keep on collecting.